Seventh grade, illustrative math, unit two, lesson eight, comparing relationships with equations. Number one, the relationship between a distance in yards, y, and the same distance in miles, m, is described by the equation y equals 1760 m. A. Find measurements in yards and miles for distances by filling in the table. This table has distances measured in miles on the left and distances measured in yards on the right. I'll label them m and y. 1 times 1760. So there's 1,760 yards in one mile. One times five equals five, and 1,760 times five equals 8,800. So there's 8,800 yards in five miles. 3,520 yards divided by 1,760 equals two. So every 3,520 yards, there's two miles. 17,600 yards divided by 1,760 yards equals 10. So for every 17,600 yards, there's 10 miles. B. Is there a proportional relationship between a measurement in yards and a measurement in miles for the same distance? Explain why or why not. The distance increase is 1,760 yards for every mile. Yes, there is a proportional relationship. The constant of proportionality is 1,760 yards per mile. Number two, decide whether or not each equation represents a proportional relationship. A, the remaining length of a 120 inch rope after X inches have been cut off. 120 minus X equals L. This subtraction sign tells me that it's not going to be a proportional relationship. B. The total cost, T, after 8% sales tax is added to an item's price. P. 1 and 8 hundredths times the price equals T. Since we're multiplying 1 and 8 hundredths times P, that tells me that it will be a proportional relationship. C. The number of marbles each sister gets, x, when m marbles are shared equally among four sisters. x equals m divided by 4. x equals m divided by 4 is the same thing as 4 times x equals m. So if there's a division sign or a multiplication sign, it tells me that there will be a proportional relationship. D. The volume, V, of a rectangular prism whose height is 12 centimeters and base is a square with side lengths S centimeters. V equals 12 S squared, or V equals 12 S to the second power. Since there's an exponent here, it tells me that there will not be a proportional relationship. Number three, A. Use the equation y equals 5 halves x to fill in the table. Is y proportional to x and y? Explain why or why not. y equals 5 halves x. So 5 halves is the same as 2 and a half because 5 divided by 2 is 2 and a half. So y equals 2 and a half multiplied by x. When x is 2, it's the same thing as y equals 2 and a half multiplied by 2. And 2 and a half multiplied by 2 is the same thing as 2 plus 2 plus half of 2, or 1. So 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 5. When the value for x is 3, it's the same thing as y equals 2 and a half multiplied by 3, or 3 plus 3 plus half of 3. And since half of 3 is 1 and 5 tenths, you can find the answer by adding 3 plus 3 plus 1 and 5 tenths. And that is 7 and 5 tenths. When the value for x is 3, the value for y will be 7 and 5 tenths. When the value for x is 6, it would be y equals 2 and a half multiplied by 6. Or 6 plus 6 plus half a 6. And 6 plus 6 plus 3 
is 15. When the value for x is 6, the value for y will be 15. Is y proportional to x and y? Explain why or why not. Yes, y is proportional to x because y divided by x is equivalent to 5 divided by 2 in each row of the table. B. Use the equation y equals 3 and 2 tenths times x plus 5 to fill in the table. Is y proportional to x and y? Explain why or why not. It says here y equals 3 and 2 tenths times x plus 5. y equals 3.2 multiplied by 1 and add 5. 3 and 2 tenths multiplied by 1 is 3 and 2 tenths. And now all we have to do is add 5. That is 8 and 2 tenths. When x equals 2, y equals 3 and 2 tenths multiplied by 2 and add 5. And that equals 6 and 4 tenths plus 5. Because 3 and 2 tenths times 2 is 6 and 4 tenths. And 6 and 4 tenths plus 5 is 11 and 4 tenths. So when the value for x is 2, the value for y is 11 and 4 tenths. When the value for x is 4, y equals 3 and 2 tenths multiplied by 4 and add 5. 3 times 4 equals 12 and 2 tenths times 4 equals 8 tenths. So 12 plus 8 tenths plus 5 and that equals 17 and 8 tenths. When the value for x is 4, the value for y will be 17 and 8 tenths. Is y proportional to x and y? Explain why or why not. No, y is not proportional to x because y divided by x has a different value in each row of the table. For example, if you look at the table now, you see a value of 1 for x and a value of 8 and 2 tenths for y. If we double the value for x or we double 1, we get 2. But if we double y or double 8 and 2 tenths, we would get 16 and 4 tenths, not 11 and 4 tenths. Number 4. To transmit information on the internet, large files are broken into packets of smaller sizes. Each packet has 1,500 bytes of information. An equation relating packets to bytes of information is given by B equals 1,500 times P, where P represents the number of packets and B represents the number of bytes of information. A. How many packets would be needed to transmit 30,000 bytes of information? 30,000 bytes and 1,500 bytes of information per packet. That's 30,000 divided by 1,500 equals 20. So there would be 20 packets needed to transmit 30,000 bytes of information. B. How much information could be transmitted in 30,000 packets? 30,000 multiplied by 1,500, that's 45 million bytes. So 45 million bytes of information could be transmitted in 30,000 packets. C. Each byte contains 8 bits of information. Write an equation to represent the relationship between the number of packets and the number of bits. Each byte contains 8 bits. Write an equation to represent the relationship between the number of packets and the number of bits. So each byte contains 8 bits. 8 bits multiplied by 1,500 packets equals 12,000. The equation that would represent the relationship between the number of packets and the number of bits would be 12,000 times P, or 12,000P. 